Uh, what's going on guys willis gaming here we are back again with another destiny video so this is the second video of today i normally wouldn't upload twice in one day but honestly there's just so much information floating around right now i thought i would just upload for the hell of it and why not this is interesting thought you guys would want to see it and yeah drop a like if you guys enjoy the video if we can reach 3,000 likes on this video that would be awesome so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the new raid weapons coming in wrath of the machine the new raid for rise of iron um look away now if you do not want to see spoilers and yeah let's begin so let's start off with the heavies so for the heavies we have this gun called the if materia or the lf materia um it's got a lot of rate of fire it's going to be one of them huge rate of fire machine guns unfortunately I don't really like these type of machine guns, so I'm going to have to stick with the rocket launcher, which is being next. So it has void damage, and all of the guns seem to have this perk here called Whirlwind's Curse. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen, bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. So all of the raid weapons gives you bonus agility, which is pretty cool. Um, you got Brace Frame, Extended Mag, Speed Reload, all of these perks pretty sure are set and then the last one is going to be random uh, moving on to the other heavy we have the sound and fury rocket launcher has a lot of velocity and a lot of blast radius which is pretty cool other than that yeah the rate of fire is pretty low obviously and the reloads pretty fast but if you can get like javelin on this and grenades and horseshoes this will be a pretty decent pvp rocket launcher by the looks of it moving on to the primaries we have the pulse rifle the steel mudula replica devastate your foes consume heard your repeat so it's a high rate of fire low impact um fusion rifle or pulse rifle even has a lot of stability and quite a lot of reload which is cool um you got full auto whirlwind's curse sign of the four landing three bursts on a target causes the fourth burst to do extra damage so that's actually a new perk which is pretty cool then you got all the smooth ballistics smart drift control cgb ballistics handling stock speed reload all that good stuff the only new pick is that sign of the four which is pretty badass next moving on we have the genesis chain auto rifle a high rate of fire uh, all rifle which is quite cool with quite a low impact not much stability um, you got focused fire when zoomed in this weapon fire slow but causes additional damage you have focused firefly while focused firefly is active precision kills cause the target to explode that's one of the new perks which is pretty sweet obviously you got the whirlwind's curse and all the randomized perks you can pretty get um, next we have the ether nova the fusion rifle um, it's void and you got whirlwind's curse this weapon deals bonus damage blah, blah. you got army of one quick unassisted kills with this weapon reduce grenade and melee cooldown then you got one of the new perks which is two for one doubles the effectiveness of the army of one perk so basically you'll get even faster grenades and even faster melee cooldown awesome moving on we have the shotgun the quanti plasma pretty weird name but okay we got a battle runner and we got running interference grants increased armor while the battle runner perk is active look at that impact that's got a lot of freaking impact very very good we've got small ball increased range and stability field choke accurize ballistics and linear compensator probably gonna go you got hand loaded as well this weapon is increased at extended range i'll probably go with that instead this might even be a good pvp shotgun you never know and that's pretty much all of the raid weapons so far. If I missed any out, uh, make sure to point it out. But that's all the ones I could find. And um, if you guys want to know where I'm getting this information from, it's literally from Bungie.net on the Armory. Um, all the weapons got released and it's pretty funny. Pretty sure there isn't a raid sniper because I looked like twice. So no raid sniper, unfortunately. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did and you're hyped for Rise of Iron. I cannot wait. It's in a few hours. And I'll see you guys in my next video. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.